to hear something like, we house the intelligence of the universe in a usable way. And that seems to, to always expand in its meaning in my experience. And, and to know this, this bright intelligence, which is naturally inherent to us, we simply just stop thinking just for a moment. and recognize what remains. This incredible, bright, alert intelligence, open intelligence, so powerful, this power to know, this power to hear these words, to, to sense, to experience. And so when we recognize open intelligence, we can do that for short moments, repeated many times. And that's what we hear in this training as a very, very simple practice that we can go about our day and test out and to recognize that this again and again, this, this open intelligence is always on. This power to know is always alert and clear. And it's so, so great to test out in all of those different examples that we have in our life. Uh, all of the different thoughts, emotions and sensations, we, we just title that data. So all of the different data that continuously go throughout our day, especially the ones that we, we don't like, the ones that we want to change, the ones that we want to get rid of. And. Uh, yeah, so I, I remember coming to this training with plenty of those, a whole list of things that I wanted to, to basically turn into positive thoughts, emotions and sensations. And uh, I, I came, I heard about this training called the 12 Empowerments and, and I wanted to really Know what, it, know what that was in my experience. I heard so many people talking about it. I heard, had friends that were, were doing it and, and their, their life naturally changing, their, their relationship with me also naturally changing in such a powerful way that I really had to see uh, what is this about this 12 empowerments. And it's a fundamental training of balanced view, which you'll hear about here, um, I'm sure. And uh, so I had this long list of, of many, many things. Um, and one of them I, I know was being in relationships that, you know, loving relationships and having the data stream of irritation come up or the data stream of, of strong negativity and thinking, how can this exist in such a relationship that I care so deeply about. How can it keep coming up? And actually, the more I cared about this relationship, the more it seemed like this was where these negative data streams would come up and uncontrollably <coughs> impel me to, to respond in, in different ways. And, and sometimes it was just an everyday life interactions where these kind of moods would come up and take over. All of a sudden there was just a cloud around my head it seemed and, and I couldn't get rid of it and even though I didn't want people to know I also wanted lots of people to know <laughs> I wanted everybody to know simultaneously simultaneously hiding in a way but also I've, I'm in a bad mood everybody <laughs> and so there, there were these days and and there were these relationships where I couldn't help but really respond from those, from that, uh, that impulse, from those different thoughts, emotions and sensations. And so this was one significant experience that I really wanted to get to know and I really wanted to understand. And I heard in the 12 Empowerments comp there was the opportunity to completely harm harmonize all of your relationships. And I was, oh, okay, yeah, I'm sure it will harmonize, you know, one or two here and there. But all, all relationships, like, I was trying to think, how would that look in my life to have complete harmony in all of my relationships, every single one of them, and starting with me. And so each step of the way, I remember over these days, I was thinking, oh yeah, wow, okay, there's, 
great insight and harmony in this relationship and this one and this one and this one. And as I went step by step, I started to see how very, very, very clearly and directly without fail, I was harmonizing every single data stream in my own experience. So getting familiar with data streams like incredible negativity, incredible irritation, and allowing that to be as it is. And so whatever you're experiencing right now, you get the opportunity just to test it out in a very, very simple way. Recognize whatever thought you're having, be it positive or negative or just neutral, Rely on a short moment of open intelligence and repeat that again and again, naturally. It doesn't have to be long, it's a short moment of open intelligence. It can be so spontaneous, instant. What's looking? What's hearing these words? This intelligence is bright, open and clear and all of your thoughts, emotions and sensations, they carry on doing what they do. And so we allow them to be as they are. We allow them to flow on by. We allow them to be just natural, everyday life, a natural experience, data streams, like the flight path of a bird in the sky. It spontaneously releases, cannot be found, <laughs> leaves no trace, like a line drawn in water. This is the nature of our thoughts, our emotions and sensations. Those thoughts and emotions and sensations that once made me, I don't know, um, really, really not able to be around people. It seemed like just an, another person, it could not be possible <laughs> in some instances, interacting with someone. I can't see another person today. It's not possible. So these types of thoughts would, would come up, so irritated. The next person talks to me, it's, it's going to be a disaster. <laughs> and, and so these, these examples come up in my everyday life experience. And I suddenly had the opportunity to, to test out these short moments of open intelligence. And so, as we are in this environment, whatever it is you're experiencing, maybe those examples can come up th for you throughout the day. And you'll remember, oh, I can try this out. I'll just try it out just for today. It might be a little bit too simple for me, but I'm okay, I'll, I'll just try it out. Short moments of open intelligence repeated many times short moments of allowing those thoughts, emotions and sensations to be as they are. And so going back to my 12 days, 12 empowerments experience uh, of allowing all of these data streams, getting familiar with these, the re this amazing relationships in my own experience, getting really intimate, knowing all of these data streams to be just as they are, like pure space allowing this incredible, intelligent, bright light to shine on all of my data streams that I had, that I held to, seeing how that then expanded to each relationship and seeing how it did completely harmonize each and every relationship and seeing how I can confidently say that in my life and, and then look at all of my relationships and, and know that that is the, the easy capacity of being human, to live in a harmonious way with myself and with other people. That's just like the bottom line. That's, the, that's a, a birthright, just to live in a natural, harmonious way. And of course, that should be the case. And so in this great simplicity, short moments many times, we get to know how it is it can be the case. And we get to know it just one moment at a time. We get to know it through harmonizing things like strong irritation, which may have been with us all coming up throughout our whole life and seeing how very effortless and easy allowing for a short moment irritation to be as it is, recognizing how it just 
spontaneously released. I, I didn't do anything. Suddenly there was irritation and now I can't find it. Like a line drawn in water. Maybe that can be the same for every single thought, emotion and sensation in my life. Maybe that's the solution to all of my problems that have been arising. Moment to moment, this, these short moments, they, they become continuous and always on. And so this natural harmony is, is natural and clear, always on.